Working with Business Glossary Manager. Creating Business Policies. The agenda. Creating Business Policies covers managing business policies, viewing or editing business policies, setting up associations for business policies, setting up additional details, adding rich media, setting up collaborations, viewing workflow logs, and viewing history. Getting started with Business Glossary Manager. Click on the menu icon to access the Irwin DI modules. Go to Data Literacy. Select Business Glossary Manager and go to Explore. Managing Business Policies. Managing business policies involves viewing mind maps, editing or deleting business policies, viewing history, and sharing links to business policies. Under the Compact View tab, click. In the Grid View tab, Use the Options column to manage business policies. View Mind Map, Edit Business Policy, Delete Business Policy, View History, and Share Link. Viewing or Editing Business Policies. View Business Policy Details and its properties on the View Business Policy tab. On the Business Policy Summary page, click a Business Policy. Viewing Business Policies. View Business Policy tab opens. View Business Policy list. View Policy details. View other properties. View or edit the business policy properties. Workflow status, governance responsibilities, sensitivity classification, etc. Editing Business Policies. On the View Business Policy tab, click Edit. Policy details. Use this section to edit business policy details, such as its definition and description. Governance Responsibilities. Edit Governance Responsibilities Assignment. It displays roles groups based on the roles and users assigned to a business policy catalog. To edit Governance Responsibilities, click a role group and add or remove users. Policy Expiry. Use this section to edit the lifetime of a business policy. Miscellaneous. Use this section to associate enterprise tags with business policies. Click Tags and select an existing tag or enter a tag name to create one on the fly. Setting up associations for business policies. Associate business policies with business assets, business rules and business terms, and technical assets columns. On the Compact View tab, click Associations. The Associations tab opens in Edit Mode. In the Asset Type, Business Rules, Business Terms, or Columns list, select an asset type to associate with the business policy. Click the plus sign. Relationship Associations page appears. Based on the asset type that you select, it displays a list of available business rules, business terms, and columns. Select Asset Type to associate with Business Policy. If you know the asset name, use the Search Partial Match field to look it up. Click Save. The selected assets are associated with the business policy and added to the list of associations. Setting up additional details. Set up custom additional information about a business policy to add more context. On the Compact View tab, click Edit. The Business Policy page opens in Edit Mode. Click the Additional Information tab. Additional Information page in Edit Mode. Add information to the available user-defined fields. We can configure UI labels of these fields through configuring language settings. Click Save and the information entered is saved to the business policy. Adding rich media. Add supporting artifacts such as text files, audio files, video files, and so on to a business policy. On the Compact View tab, click Edit. Business Policy page appears in Edit Mode. Click Rich Media Library tab. Rich Media Library page appears. Click plus Add New Rich Media page appears. Enter the appropriate values in the fields. 
click Save, and the selected rich media file and its description are added to the business policy. Setting up collaborations. Start discussions on business assets or relevant topics with your team using the Collaboration Center. This enables you and your team to work together. On the Compact View tab, click Edit. Business Policy page opens in Edit Mode. Click the Collaboration Center tab. Collaboration Center page appears. Click Plus Add Topic. The Add Topic page appears. Enter the topic name and description. Click Next. User Assignment page appears. Select the users or your team members that you want to collaborate with. Click Save and the topic is saved and added to the list of topics in the Collaboration Center. Setting up collaborations, managing topics. Involves viewing, editing, or deleting a topic, assigning users, managing notifications, saving topic conversations, and sharing a topic. Click the Collaboration Center tab. In the list of topics on the topic you want to manage, click the relevant option. Viewing Workflow Logs View the flow of actions of the workflow assigned to a business policy. Along with other information, the workflow log displays the current state of the business policy in the workflow. On the Compact View tab, click Edit. Business Policy page opens in Edit mode and click the Workflow Log tab. The Workflow Log tab displays only the stages of the workflow and highlights the current stage. Expand or hide users and roles. Users and roles associated with each workflow stage. Log summary. Use this pane to view the log of the actions performed. Export the workflow log summary in Excel format. Viewing history. View and track a list of changes for a business policy. On the Compact View tab, click Edit. The business policy page opens in edit mode. Click on the History tab. The History page appears. View the change history related to a business policy. That's it. For more information, please visit Irwin.com.